Turnbull has committed himself to supporting Trump under circumstances which might be strategic madness. My name is Hugh White. I've just completed a quarterly essay called Without America, Australia's Future in the New Asia. Well, I've really got two big messages in this essay. The first is that Australia should stop assuming that America is going to be dominating Asia forever and is going to keep on keeping us safe the way they have in the past. I'm arguing that China's power is now so great and its resolve, its ambition to dominate Asia is now so strong and America, particularly under Trump, is so much weaker than it used to be that we have to start expecting that America will cease to be a significant player in Asia. This is the biggest shift in Australia's international environment, probably in our history, certainly for many decades. As we start recognising that that might go, that we might end up in a region which is not dominated by America, in which China might be setting the rules, and therefore the rules won't necessarily protect us, we have to become much more self-conscious ourselves about how we respond to this. We are going to become a more Asian country. Uh, that's always been part of the deal. The big questions in foreign policy are always, amongst other things, questions of identity. How we relate to other countries is always partly a question of how we see ourselves. And I think it's particularly true of a really big transformation like the way Asia's transforming with China's rise and how Australia responds to it. We do face some real questions about how Australia should manage China's influence, but we also have quite a few assets to play with. We are, after all, a sovereign country. We can make laws, we can, for example, put restrictions on overseas political donations if we choose to. And so I think a lot of the things that we have so far avoided talking about, we now have to confront. And once we confront them, I think we'll find some of them at least not quite as scary as we feared. The essay is released on the 28th of November. It's about 28,000 words long, so it's not too long a read.